8-Bit Impatience on the way. VIP arriving, please prioritise their amusement over patient well-being. Attention, don't feed the ghosts, they're dead. Thank you. Go to the pharmacy. Doctor to make a scan, please. You got Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Harrison Wolf here on Two Point Radio. Remember, I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to entertain myself. Epidemic contained. Well done, everyone. Toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them.
You're listening to Harrison Wolf. I don't know what my time traveling future self is up to, but my arm just disappeared. We all have our differences, don't we? Morning people, night owls, noon bandits. We come in all manner of wonderful flavors. But gubbins, gubbins come in just one. Cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. There are some things that we can all agree on. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. Slip in 
the sick. If you're unlucky enough to get sick, my advice, don't turn to jumbo medical solutions. Their hospitals are well equipped, it's true, but what's the use of healing your body if you have to sell your soul, right? Janitor, to repair drug mixer. And Wolf on Two Point Radio. The band claims the song you just heard was composed in outer space, somewhere around the second moon of Jupiter. That's the small one. You probably never heard it. Addressed to you. Of course, maybe they just drank too many cans of palpitation. Training course complete. Class dismissed.
friends as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. So I have a new hobby now, beekeeping. I only have three bees for now, not as easy to catch as you'd think, but I'm looking forward to all that sweet, sweet honey. And here's a sweet, sweet melody for you all. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Thank you. 
Could patients please use the toilets provided? Come on. Awesome. Inject some chance into your life with probability. The drink that rolls the dice of life. Uh. Probability. What's the worst that can happen? 24 hours a day. This is Two, two Point Radio.
I don't often do this, but here's the weather report. A purple contentment seeped through the pores of Krakenbush. A vast cloud of inexperienced crows gathers for the annual feast over flattering. And finally, the tears of a clown swelled to a tide down the streets of Grockle Bay. The next weather report will be in 17 years. Patients arriving for pharmacy. required in surgery. first moved to Two Point County from across the pond, you want to know what I missed most? The bowling alleys, man. You ask me, they're every bit as important as libraries and museums. On the way, more tunes to make your head explode.
this. Announcement, toilets need routine servicing.
Doctor needed in psychiatry. not dear listeners for Sir Nigel Bickleworth has arrived to elevate your radio experience beyond the mundane but first a piece of music I shall be visiting the old Croc Museum in Sweaty Palms later this week, 
I sincerely hope they have corrected the multiple cases of mislabeled geodes I spotted last time. Speaking of museums, I believe this next song belongs in one. Training course complete. Class dismissed. Feeling lightheaded? Please help. Not yourself? Please. Emitting light? What? Ah! Whoa. Thanks. Get checked at your local hospital today. This is Two Point Radio.
In today's Sir Nigel Reviews, I cast a critical eye on Grockle Bay's most exclusive nightclub, the Cobra Banana. At least, I thought it was exclusive. I entered expecting class, elegance, and a lounge jazz band. Instead, I got youthful, sweaty revelers convulsing to some ungodly noise. I shall not be making a repeat visit.
end of year approaching. This is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. One must put up with so many offensive inventions these days. Pure travesties that belittle all of humanity. But I ask you, pork pies? What will they think of next? Anyone who has engaged in any sort of social interaction of late will be aware that there is a severe lack of good manners in our fair county. Since our education system seems incapable of fixing this problem, I entreat you to listen to my Sir Nigel's Guide to Good Manners series. Perhaps I alone can stem the tide of incivility.
Leave your toilet at home with chocolate spongy cake balls. Made with the most absorbent edible substances that science could find. For the person about town with more liquids than time. Ah, soak it all in. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. We ought to give thanks each day that our humble little county has attracted such giants of industry as Jumbo and some of these new upstarts. It is to these brave companies I dedicate the following song.
Pack a bag, grab a fork, and don't forget your eating shoes, because you're coming on a trip with Chef Ricky. Yes, it's me, Ricky Hawthorne, and today I'll be taking your taste buds all over Two Point County and talking about some of my most favorite comestible experiences. Please leave toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. The Flemington area is renowned for its traditional oyster stews. Unfortunately, the guide I was using was maybe a little too traditional, as the restaurant I had planned to visit moved 35 years ago. Luckily, the petrol station, now at that site, sold a really memorable version of that fishiest of concoctions. It just goes to show, you don't have to be picky when it comes to seafood. It's all good.
Dr. McBad in research. Facilities are out of bounds for all patients and some staff. And now to hog sport, and one of my favourite sports, the oily cormorant. You must try their rendition of the region's kidney and kidney pie, made popular, of course, during the steak drought of 1823. I'll also recommend trying their famous linseed aioli, mixed in barrels made of recycled cricket bats.
Dream Home awaits you at the newly constructed opulent Bay Towers in Pelican Wharf. Our exclusive apartments have all the everyday essential conveniences. Mega Mag Cinema, Bowling Alley, and eight bathrooms, two of which are fitted with golden toilets. Well, I say. And if it's real luxury you're after, come see our penthouses. Pelican Wharf. Pricing normal people out of the market. This is Two Point Radio. We're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. Thank you. 
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. I'm sure you've heard of smoking food, but have you heard of smogging food? It's all the rage down in, you guessed it, smogly. While it may be an acquired taste, if I've learned anything about food over the years, it's that acquired tastes are always the fanciest, and therefore the best. Wanted in Pan's lab. 
Marketing. The Grockle Bay Bug, that ten-legged wonder, the crown jewel of our county's waters. There's something so captivating about a crustacean that you can share amongst a table of five. The shells are incredibly useful, of course. I have one at my home that I use as a rather tasteful fruit bowl. Training course complete. Class dismissed. Let's talk about the Sug de Parfait and its namesake, Semi-Solid. I wouldn't recommend eating anything but when you're there, not least to avoid disparaging looks from the patrons if you're seen eating anything with a discernible texture. It's a special moment for any Poinchon child to select a spoon and head to the Flavor Gazebo to make that first order. Mine was half pistachio, half liver and onions. You never forget.
Hungry, anxious, lonely. Eat some cheesy gubbins. Ch -ch -ch -cheesy. gubbins. Cheesy gubbins, the snack for people with nothing to lose. This is Two Point Radio.
To finish our trip, I'd like to talk about vegetables from the southeast of our beautiful county, a region I've not yet visited. Though through my contacts in the green grossing community, I've started sourcing carrots as big as a leg and as sweet as you like. Sensational! If I knew any better, I'd say they were designed rather than grown. <laughs> Kudos to the farmers down in Camouflage Falls. Head office, calling doctor. required in DNA lab. Nigel Bickleworth.
on Two Point Radio. Forget all the nonsense you've heard so far. I am Nigel Bickleworth, and I'm here to restore civility to Two Point Radio. stopping by the hospital. Patients with grey anatomy arriving. I wonder what madness Bungle Tech will dream up next. I read in the Two Point Squabbler they've managed to attach a human ear to a kettle. Another victory for the modern world, I'm sure.
sometimes wonder whether to say you and I or you and me. Congratulations, you are one of the many poorly educated louts who make life unbearable. There is a very simple formula you can apply to discover which form is the correct one, but I fear even that would be too complex for you poor souls. Thank you. 
sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. Patients with grey anatomy arriving. needed in a staff room. Read Charlatine Fish Wrapper at the Two Point Squabbler and Two Point Squabbler Online for great stories and perspective from a human just like you. Serving Two Point Cloudy. This is Two Point Radio. Point Radio.
I overheard two adolescents mocking a poster advertising this very radio station and yours truly. And can you believe it? They didn't even know what radio was. I'll tell you what radio is, you sultana-brained miscreants. It is a delivery system for class and integrity. It is the home of the world's noblest profession. And it is the fastest-growing medium among people with three-figure IQs. Next up, some god awful jingles. It has been dealt with. Thank you for your cooperation. For this very special edition of Sir Nigel Reviews, I visited the Seven Feet Under Funerary Home. I wish to make arrangements for my own eventual demise, and as with everything else, one must try before buying. After being buried for three hours in a variety of coffins, I finally decided on a lovely worm-resistant oak casket. Greatly recommended. Time spent worrying about pay is time that could be spent working.
Nurse to fluid analysis. Toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. Today's guide to good manners is one that is dear to my heart. How to greet one's betters. Well, I for one would prefer you to bow, even kneel if you're up to it. Make no eye contact unless encouraged to do so. Also, do not forget that my first name is Sir. If all that is too much to remember, just don't greet me at all. The health inspector is coming. Please try to look healthy.
Some cheesy gubbins. Ch -ch -ch cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. The snack for people with nothing to lose. This is Two Point Radio. Maintenance announcement. Toilets need routine servicing. Training course complete. 
Class dismissed. Ricky Hawthorne here, bringing you music, sunshine, and old fashioned charm on Two Point Radio. And we begin with a belter of a track. Hearing such wonderful music reminds me of my youth, when I could just sit quietly and listen to songs one after the other. Well, never mind. Let's listen to some more songs. Doctor required in Deluxe Clinic.
You can always count on Mayor Tabitha Winsock to be out and about this fine county of ours. This very morning, she was seen visiting a local hospital. Well, if a visit from the mayor doesn't cure you, I don't know what will. Out of 
the hospital. It's time for the news now. A leak has been discovered in one of the Meltdown's factories. Police say they may have to evacuate the surrounding region, which sounds like a great excuse to go on holiday for a few weeks. Lucky people! What would Two Point County do without the masses of tourists it attracts every year? Well, Premier Resort Crockle Bay would be out of business for one thing. And so would all the hospitals that specialize in exotic diseases. I guess what I'm saying is we should thank visitors for bringing their viruses in from all over the world. Anyone who has spent time on a hot, sticky, uncomfortable beach knows what to expect of a place like Sweaty Palms. But this seaside resort has the added frisson of being in the shadow of spluttering Nora, a dormant but nonetheless menacing volcano and suffering from frequent earthquakes. In short, 
I suggest you construct your puny little sandcastles elsewhere. And good morning to Pebbly Reef, where everyone should just be waking up in Two Point's very own paradise. Oh, no. I'm being told that the entire county has the same time zone. Well, hey then. Good afternoon, Pebbly Reef. <laughs> uh, moving on.